So I was watching The Godfather in my Discord. We watched The Godfather Part 1 and Part 2, and then we watched the uh, Coda cut of Part 3. And there's a line in one of the latest scenes where Michael Corleone says, this contempt of money is another trick from the rich to keep the poor without it. So I want to do a video about that quote and something I've noticed lately uh, here on the Speakdom. So that line... Al Pacino played Michael Corleone. He's talking to his nephew who's like, hey, I have some investments in your company. And I'm just being honest. And he kind of seemed a bit shy about it. And then Corleone is like, you should never be shy about your wealth. You should never feel bad for being wealthy. And I've noticed something. Remember how I did that speak to him about my toxic friends? So a lot of these toxic people that I no longer have in my life, there's a lot of envy there. There's a lot of subconscious envy and there's a lot of bitterness because of the fact that I've been able to be successful on YouTube and they work a dead end job. I'm being honest with you. This is legit what happened. They didn't sourly say it, but I knew what was going on. And that's a small piece of... What happened? So this person at one time, well, when I knew them, I haven't talked to them in almost two years, but they uh, they used to always say things like eat the rich or the rich deserve to die and all this really crazy shit because they were one of these people who, because they didn't get their break in life, which was, by the way, their fault, nobody's fault, but their fault. At some point, you have to take responsibility, my friend. But they have this narrative where rich people are bad and they're evil and they somehow cheated to get there. Or they somehow took advantage of the system or they somehow had got lucky. And that is a very unhealthy mentality and it's also pure, 100% concentrated hater aid. Completely. Is there... A major problem in the United States with wealth inequality. Yes. Are rich people with companies superiorly wealthy? And are there people on the other side who are not? Yes. However, however, does this mean that every rich person got to become rich because of cheating the system? Or because of some kind of inheritance? The answer is no. I have lived quite a life. And I've had multiple jobs where I have worked for millionaires, at millionaires' homes, and I'm still friends with some millionaires, multi-millionaires. And these people are super kind to me. And they've been very good to me. When I used to work for the cable company many years ago, I met these people. I would go to their homes and they would take very good care of me. They would give me generous tips, which I didn't even ask for. They would sometimes offer me food. They would sometimes give me things like bottles of wine. I didn't even drink. These people were super generous because if you work your way up to becoming wealthy, if you're one of those people that you weren't born wealthy, but you eventually work your way up to becoming wealthy, you tend to appreciate the hard work, the grind, the journey, and that means you don't forget where you came from. At least I would hope that you guys wouldn't. And this mentality, this toxic, idiotic, extreme left mentality of contempting money is literally what holds them back from having it. The contempt of money is another trick from the rich to keep the poor without it. Yes, People who are very smart have figured out various ways to separate us and to have us fighting amongst ourselves while they continue to be rich. These are the bad ones. However, this idea that being wealthy means that you cheated, that's bullshit. One of the things that I have, I have a goal in my life. My goal is to be a multimillionaire. That's my goal. And I know I'm going to do it. It's not a maybe. It's not a 
I hope to do it. I know I'm going to do it at some point. And the reason as to why I know is because I don't have this kind of stupid mentality. I don't have any contempt for money. Whenever you hear somebody say, oh, well, money does not make you happy. They're usually broke. Here's why. It's true. Money does not make you happy. Money cannot buy happiness. But being broke cannot buy you shit. And we live in a world, like it or not, where if you have more money, you have access to better medical care, better doctors, you can travel anywhere you want to in the world if you have that kind of money, you can network much better, and you can get access to things that regular middle class folks don't have access to. That is a fact of life. So why wouldn't you want that? What is wrong with building wealth? It's one of the biggest cons that so many people fall for. Well, I'm okay with being poor because I'm noble. No, you're just lazy and have no idea how to get rich. And that's okay. Because most of the world is not rich. And most of the world won't be rich. But one of the big reasons to why that is, is because of this mentality. This contempt of the rich. You realize that these corporations that get away with not paying taxes, the reason why they get away with it is because of the way the tax code is written. It's not their fault. If you were wealthy, wouldn't you take every advantage you could? Yeah, a lot of us would. And I want to just talk to y'all to get y'all to break out of this mentality if it's what you truly desire. You should never be ashamed of being successful. You should never be ashamed of having a good job, taking care of your family, taking care of your kids, your wife, your husband, whatever. Being happy. Don't ever be ashamed of being happy because some other asshole didn't make it, aren't happy, and their toxicity bleeds into your life. This goes back to that first topic I did after coming back on Speak Them about toxic friends versus good friends. Good friends are going to elevate you. Good friends are going to actually ask you for your advice on how to get wealthy or they'll work with you on how everybody can benefit or at least support you. They're not going to sit there and tell you bullshit like, oh, you got lucky, which is what one of my former friends told me. You got lucky. No, I didn't get lucky. I have done extraordinarily well on my Geek the 101 channel monetarily, and it's because I worked my ass off and sacrificed time. I didn't goof off for hours on Discord talking to people. I didn't spend my time jerking around gossiping about other people. I didn't do that. I put my head down and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked. To get to earning a lot of money, you're going to have to work hard. Whether you work hard during the job or you work hard trying to get your education to get paid when you get the job or you work hard at starting your business, whatever you're going to do to become wealthy, With the exception of inheriting money or winning the lottery to actually become a self-made millionaire or a self-made high earner. It doesn't have to be a millionaire. It could be just a high earner. It's going to take some work. You have to be smart. You have to be consistent. You have to provide value. This mentality that people have where they're pretty much suckers getting bent over by the system, hoping that someday they'll elect somebody who's going to help them out. You are a fool. Don't ever count on the government to help you out. Yeah, the government has programs like welfare and food stamps and all that. But who wants to live like that? Do you want to live like a pauper or do you want to work and live like a prince? And so many people have this really ignorant mentality where they have this just uh, it's utter envy and it's utter jealousy that there's others who are more successful they might not even realize it they may not even know that it's envy but that's what it is and they'll sit there and they'll spit haterade or they'll just stew in the fact that they are stuck in a dead end job when there are so many opportunities out there for people now You don't have to go to college. You can go to a trade school. You can learn a skill. You can start a business. 
Most countries in the U.S., I mean, bah, most countries in the world, including the U.S., have some semblance of opportunity. Some don't, of course. There are some where you really can't go far. But this idea of capitalism being bad, okay, maybe it is bad. Maybe it is cutthroat, but it's the way it is. It's the way it is. And nobody says that you have to be a bad person to become rich. And nobody says you have to screw somebody else on your way to the top. You don't have to do that. All you got to do is work for it. And have a plan set in motion. So I want to make this speak to to kind of let everybody know if this is your mentality, dude, it's a very unhealthy mentality. It's very toxic because it's not going to get you anywhere. It is not going to get you where you want to be financially. Instead of shitting on wealthy people, why don't you pick their brain and find out how they became wealthy? Why don't you read books done by self-made millionaires? Why don't you listen to audiobooks? Why don't you do some homework on investors and, and people who made it and see what they had to do to make it? Not everyone's a trust fund, baby, and not everyone wins the lottery. Very few human beings on this planet are like that. But why not learn from them? And instead of sitting there and being like, you know what, I'm never going to make it. They got lucky. Nobody is going to feel sorry for you. I'm telling you right now. People got their own problems. So this idea of contempt of money and oh, I'm okay being poor, that ain't me, bro. I have the mentality that I'm never satisfied. You want to know why? Because I was homeless once. I've told this story before. I lost it all. And I pretty much told myself when I got back on my feet that I would never, ever end up homeless again. I went from homeless to homeowner. I was homeless in 2009 and I closed on my home in 2019. 2018 technically, but 2019 I paid it all off. I have a paid off house. And you got these geeks on Twitter who were like, oh, well, nobody cares about your money. No, motherfucker, I care about my money. I don't care about your opinion. Because I was going to make damn sure that I would never end up homeless again. So I, what did I do? I went out, I got a good deal on a house, I closed on it, and I paid it off. All I got to pay now is HOA fees, homeowner's insurance, and property tax, which is a hell of a lot less than paying rent. And I was lucky because I bought the house before the housing market went nuts. I bought it at a good deal. I did my own little upgrades. I got a fence now, a security system, changed the AC out. The house is dope, man. I love my house. I love my house, y'all. Whenever you see me on video, whether it be here, on Twitch, Geekdom 101, the channel, that's my house. That's my home office. And I'm so happy here. I love the neighborhood I live in. It's peaceful. It's quiet. I live in between the city and the country, so I can go. I, if I go south, I hit the city. If I go north, I hit the country. This is a perfect house for me. I love my house. What's wrong with that? Why do I have to be cursed to be in an apartment the rest of my life, paying somebody else my money that they're earning without me actually owning the property? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So break this loser mentality of hating money and start working on making money and living a good life. Because if you work hard, you deserve. You work too damn hard in your life to deserve not having something to show for it. A house, a car, both. Something nice. Something that's yours. That's just the way it is, man.